Hi, everybody. We're Larry and Tiz Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. Jesus said, the last words he said is, don't you leave until you receive right. the Holy Spirit. The day of Pentecost, mm -hmm. in Hebrew, the day of Shavuot, where the wisdom of God would come. Listen to this. Jesus said, I've come to give you life yes. and that life more abundant. Amen. How do we connect that to the creation of the world? Right. And God said, everything I created is good. Amen. But do you know in everything God created, there's only one thing that he said, I'll show you where it is. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're about to teach you the word of God that will change your yes. life forever. You know, the Bible says, and you hear us say, teach this all the time, is there not an appointed time? Now, right. man, as soon as I said that, I can feel the rush <laughs> of the Holy Spirit. Is there not an appointed time? The word appointed, me, uh, the word appointment in Hebrew is the word moedim. Mm -hmm. God has tis, yes. these appointments yes. on his his calendar right, right. that when we understand these things, the windows of heaven open up. Yeah. Now, we're right now in the time of Pentecost or in Hebrew of Shavuot. Right. And you brought up that when we first were pastors, yeah. we thought that Pentecost began with Acts chapter 2, yeah. when in reality, <laughs> it didn't start with Acts chapter 2. It started all the way back when the Israelites came out of Egypt, right. and 50 days yes. later, yes. God gives them the Torah. Right. God gives the world the Bible. Amen. From the resurrection of Jesus, 50 days later, yes. God gives the Holy Spirit. Yes. When the day of Pentecost, where it really reads, when the day of Shavuot had fully come. Yeah. The word Pentecost, as you know, the word Pentecost means 50, but here's what's exciting. Numerically, 50 is the word everything. Yes. So why did God wow. take 50 days from Egypt? We talked about this, but I need to get through it. Why yeah. did God take 50 days from Egypt right. to Mount Sinai? 50 days from us receiving Jesus as Savior to the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. They had to go through seven seven week periods, which is called in, 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 in English, from Hebrew to English, mm -hmm. is the journey from slavery to to prosperity. Mm. That's why the Bible says when we bring this Shavuot offering, this Pentecost offering, this first fruit offering, it brings, there's two offerings that we bring. It's two baskets that we lift up for you. Right. And it's one is that it brings us a divorce yes. from the old life. Amen. You're getting divorced from yes. slavery. You're getting yes. divorced from Poverty, you're getting divorced from that mentality. Bondage, bondage. In, yes, insufficiency. Egypt, Egypt meant yes. limitations. Yeah. Yeah. So you're getting divorced from that, that mindset of yeah. limitations. Amen. And you know what? The, the, real, the, the reality is, and, and Rabbi Lappin, is, we've talked oh, with him yeah, many times. So good. And we yeah. think one of the reasons why we have a problem with prosperity and we have a problem with giving is we think there's a limited amount yeah. that's out there. Right. There is unlimited wealth Amen. out there. Because yes. God gives you power in your hands yes. to gain wealth. Yes. So we, we come back and and we we do this with your first fruit offering. We we bring we put it in two baskets yep. and we bring it through the hoopa, yes. the we, the wedding canopy, yes. because you're getting yes. divorced from Amen. the old life yeah. and you're getting married to Jehovah Amen. Jireh, your for, yes. provider yes. through Jesus, that he accomplished yes. all of that. Yes. And he connects us to the promises Amen. of God. Now, three times a year, we come before the Lord and we don't come empty handed. God opens us the windows of heaven yeah. and pours us out such a blessing. There won't be room enough to receive it. But listen to this. The Bible says 
that there is a wealth that right. comes from the Lord right. and brings no yes. sorrow with it. Yes. There's a lot of people out there that have wealth, but yeah. when we do it God's way and we bring our wealth, That's not right. only to be blessed, but yep. to be a blessing, Amen. to save Jewish lives, to yes. partner with the nation of Israel, to when you yes. when you send this first fruit offering in, we're gonna we're taking as you're sending it in. Tiz and I are taking an offering to the nation of Israel, yes. your offering, your, your offering. money is going Ooh. to save lives. We're literally yes. meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu, yes. with the President of Israel yep. on the at the airport in Tel Aviv yes. to meet planes of people's lives Ooh. that you are you are saving in Ukraine and in that demonic spirit of anti-Semitism in France. This is, I, I, I can't express it, this offering 50 means everything. Yes. This is going to, this mean, this offering yes. means everything to these people. But I'm going to tell Amen. you, it's going to mean everything to you. Yeah. The Bible says when we bring this first fruit offering, it says our barns will be filled Amen. and our vats will overflow yeah. with wine. Yep. I know I teach this all the time. Everything God does has two parts to it. The earthly yep. and the heavenly, yes. the, the spiritual and the physical. Yep. The barns being filled, this offering brings about prosperity. Amen. And I'm not ashamed. You no. know, anybody that is against teaching prosperity has never been hungry. That's right. Anybody that's against that's teaching right. on prosperity yeah. has, has never had to lay awake at night with the cold sweats wondering how the bills are going to be paid. I, yep. I you know, I, I'm, agree, I'm agree with the apostle. I've been in plenty and I've been in one. Yeah. And having my bills paid and having some left over yeah. is better than being in one. And I'm not ashamed Amen. to say yes. this offering here, yeah. you're not just sowing a seed. Yeah. You're sowing a seed that will save lives. Yes. You're Absolutely. sowing a seed that will break that demon yep. spirit of anti-Semitism. You're sowing a seed that's fulfilling Bible yep. prophecy of mm. the Gentiles who will Amen. partner with Jews and bring Amen. them back in their arms and their shoulders. Yep. You're fulfilling Bible yes, you prophecy are. and yes. God will fill, fulfill Amen. Bible prophecy in you yes. in that he'll open the windows of heaven yes. and he will pour you out. Listen, this is, this is, we are so close to the end times. Yeah. And there are two promises in the end times. One is there'll be an end time, uh, there'll be an end time outpouring of signs and wonders and miracles. Right. That's your vats being full. Yeah. God wants to anoint you, your church, your yes. ministry, your family, mom yep. and dad, that you Amen. lay hands on your Amen. children. You lay hands, and I'm not ashamed to say, we've had it, we do it all the time on our checkbook and say, Absolutely. God, bring in more than enough. Absolutely. And the and the 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 barns being filled is your job, your business. Yes. Somebody's going to make money this yep. year. Somebody's going to get a raise. Yep. Somebody's going to have miracle Amen. debt cancellation. Yep. It might as well be yes. you. Yes. L you know, I, 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 they're telling me I need to get to the product. Listen to me. Listen to me prophetically. This, this is, this is, while we're filming this, we are seven days. You're seeing this a little bit later. We are seven days away from the end of uh, Israel's 70-year anniversary. Mm -hmm. The word, the number 70 in Hebrew is the letter for having eyes to see. Mm. The Holy Spirit will lead you yes. and guide you. Open yes. your eyes yep. to what to put your hands to. Amen. Open your eyes Absolutely. to where to make investments. Yes. Open your eyes to where the prosperity yes. is. But the number 70 also is the Hebrew word for sowed, which right. means the revealing of secrets. Amen. Guys, this is yes. Pentecost. This yeah. offering is saving lives and God is going to open right. our eyes, my eyes, his yes. eyes, your Amen. eyes, to show us secrets. Listen. Amen. Money is not bad. I, I need to talk about when we get back. Right. Money is an amplifier. Yes. If you're a bad person, money amplifies right. doing bad things. Right. But you're a good person. If we don't mm -hmm. have abundance, there's if all we're doing is having our needs met, right. then we can't do what God's called exactly. us to do. God exactly. wants to take that wealth yep. and put it into your hands. Amen. That's what this offering does. Now, listen, yes. we got to go to a break. But I, I've got to share this with you. We've got the mezuzah. Yeah. Take my word and put it on the doorpost of your house. Great. 
great, great teachings. teaching in the Holy Spirit. Tell them about yeah, that this real is, quick. This is so cool. It's a, it's a replica of a 7th century antiquity that was found and is in the Israeli Museum. And so this, this is, is awesome. This is really nice. And I would, I'm going to wear this all the time. Yeah, I, I'd like to have a smaller this. one for men, please. <laughs> but it has the menorah on it, which represents the light of God, the yep. anointing of God. It has a Torah on it. And this was actually yes. found in Jerusalem yeah. or in Israel. Not sure if it was Jerusalem. It has the Torah scroll on it. Yep. It has the shofar on it. This is, this yep. is really awesome. But we're taking your first fruit offering to Israel I'll be in Israel either three or four times at least this year. And this will be my, well, we're leaving in, in a couple weeks and going there. There will be my 34th trip. When we're taking your first fruit offering, it'll be my 35th trip. Yes. But the first trip that Tiz and I ever took, we, we saw this in a shop in Jerusalem yes. and we bought it. Love it. And this is absolutely awesome. It yeah. is the Torah. Yeah. Obviously, in the shape of the Ten Commandments, yeah. it's got the Hebrew and it's got the Jewish translation in English. Yeah. It is amazing. I know that you, you, you're, you're sending your first fruits in to save lives, but we want to send these things to you because your son, yeah. lives are being changed because of you. We want to send things that will bless your yes. life. Thank we'll be right back. The Pentecost First Fruits Offering is one of the most important offerings you can sow in the entire year. It's when God opens the windows of heaven to release three much needed blessings into your life, wisdom, anointing, and prosperity. In addition, you will literally be fulfilling Bible prophecy by helping Jews in countries like France, Ukraine, and Ethiopia escape the growing hatred and persecution caused by anti-Semitism. With your support, we can help them to Aliyah, or return to Israel, their ancient biblical homeland. With your Pentecost offering of any size today, we want to say thank you by sending you an amazing DVD CD teaching by Pastor Larry, The Baptism of the Holy Spirit. This sermon is captured live from a special service at our church here in Dallas and will help you experience a fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit in your life like never before. When you sell $100 or more, we also want you to have this beautiful Torah mezuzah. The Torah is one of the symbols of Pentecost, and when you mount the mezuzah on the doorpost of your home, it will be a powerful reminder of God's protection and promises over your family. When you support Project Aliyah with a gift of $375 or more, we want to add this unique replica of a 7th century artifact discovered in Jerusalem. It's an elegant temple menorah pendant that also comes in a velvet gift box with a chain and an information card detailing its historical origin. With your first fruits offering of $750, which provides airfare and initial immigration expenses for one person making Aliyah to Israel, we will add this stunning illuminated Torah. This is a spectacular presentation of the first five books of the Bible, and each page contains both a Hebrew and English translation side by side. It's also embellished with color engravings and decorative motifs. This exquisite volume of God's Word will be treasured for a lifetime. And now, a special message from Pastor Larry. If you're a first-time donor, we want to give you this book as our way of saying thank you. This is releasing family blessings on you, your family, your children. There's nothing more important than a family that's serving God together. So this is our way of saying thank you for helping us change the world, and we want to help change your world. May the family blessings of God be on you and your family. Please call us today at 800-978-8546 and take part in this special Pentecost offering. If you prefer to give online, simply go to our secure website at LarryHuck.tv and choose your level of offering there. Our helpful staff is standing by right now to help you. So please call 800-978-8546 or you can always mail your offering to our ministry address on the screen. 
We sincerely appreciate whatever amount you are able to sow today, large or small. You are fulfilling biblical prophecy by helping to carry our Jewish brothers and sisters back home to Israel. Don't let this Pentecost window of blessing pass you by. And don't miss the opportunity to stand with Israel and the Jewish people. It will release an outpouring of blessing on your life. Again, thank you for your faithful and generous support. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, I, I can't wait to hear how many people come up to you ladies yeah. and say, tell me about this. And yes. you can tell them yes. that we stood with Pastor yep. and Larry and Tiz and Israel in Amen. saving Jewish lives. Yes. People ask you about Amen. this on your coffee table and, and mm. you can explain. It's not a trinket. It's not something. No. It's a symbol of saving lives and God Beautiful opening the windows of heaven and the mezu on your yes. the mezuzah on the, on the door, Beautiful. your doorpost. Amen. It's absolutely amazing. Yes. And you know, I our goal this year is, and we don't have this in the bank, the, right. everything we do is because of you responding. Yes. And yes. our goal Thank is to so try much. to raise another million dollars this year. <laughs> Last year, because of you, mm. we gave to Israel about 1.4 million, I believe yeah. it was, and we want to raise another million. You know, this is a window. Ooh. You know, you think about Malachi, the windows of heaven. This is a window with... The, the current situation politically in America, the current situation politically <laughs> in Israel, around, this is a window yeah. of God, a window of God yes. that we've got to walk through. But you think about yep. the window of, you know, every year Passover comes, every year Pentecost comes. Yeah. And we're, I believe in all my heart, the anointing of today. Yeah. We are seven days, seven mm. days, seven candlesticks in the menorah, seven days of the Shabbat, right. on and on and on. We're seven days away from the end of the 70 year of anniversary of Israel. 70 means the, having eyes to see. Yeah. It means revealing secrets. It's yes. special that you're watching right now today. Amen. It is a special thing. I yes. got to, I've been saying I'm going to teach this for three weeks. Now listen to this. <laughs> the mentality that you have to have in walking in the prosperity. M prosperity is not a negative thing. Right. Prosperity is a good thing. That's Let right. Let me say it quickly this way, Tiz. In seven days, everything God created, the first seven things God created, yeah. he said, is good. Yeah. He created the rivers and he created the, the yeah. fish and he created the cattle and he created the trees and everything he created he said is good. Yes. Interesting, yep. the eighth thing God created that said was good, and yeah. eight means a new beginning. Right, right. That you're watching today, this That's is right. a new Amen. beginning through yes. you. Remember the Pentecost offering, yep. the first fruit offering brings a divorce from That's everything right. that Egypt yes. has tried yes. to do, Amen. limitations, Amen. morals, all these things. Yep. The eighth thing that God created in creation yeah. was gold. Now, let me read this to you. Now, this is, yep. this is so important that you understand this. If we just read through it, we don't realize yeah. the revelation that is here. God's exactly. created, as I already said, God's created everything. Seven things, he said, it's good, yeah. it's good, it's good, it's good. Mm. But the last thing he said is good. The eighth thing he said is good. And eight means, as I said, a new beginning. Right. He said, he's talking about gold. Now, let me show you something here. Now, a river went out of Eden to water the garden, mm -hmm. and from there it parted and became four river heads. The name of the first is Pishon, mm -hmm. and it is the one which encompasses the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. Wow. Now, let me give you some ancient Jewish wisdom. God never said where the cattle were. Right. He never said everything that God right. created was good. In Hebrew, that means he created, he looked at it, and he said, this is good yeah. because these things will be a blessing to you. Yeah. But the eighth thing... Eight meaning a new beginning. Amen. You are about to enter into, as your, as your first fruit offering, this is just coming to me, as your first fruit offering is giving people in the Ukraine and people in mm. France who are facing 
the, the, the chance of death because yeah. of anti-Semitism, right. your first fruit offering is giving them yes. a new beginning. Yes. Your first fruit offering That's is giving right. you a That's new beginning. Right. Absolutely. So God showed awesome. seven things, yep. cattle, fish, rivers. It's good, it's yeah. good, it's good. But ancient Jewish wisdom said when he came to gold, yeah. and he said, gold is good. He did, and yeah. he said, it's up the river Pishon. Yep. Ancient Jewish wisdom says when you are serving God yes. and you are tikkun olam, yes. you are repairing a broken world. Yep. That's why one of, one of the requ prerequisites of being a prophet yeah. was wealth. Yeah. King Solomon, the wisest man on the, on the face of the earth said, wealth is a crown of the wise. Yes. yes Tie that in with yep. Pentecost. Yep. Tie that in with first fruits. He'll give us wisdom yeah. and knowledge and lead us and teach us and guide us. Yep. When we're serving God, the reason why wealth was a prerequisite for being right. a prophet is that when there's a wealth that comes from the Lord, when God has given you the wealth, right. it means that you have done something great mm. to change someone's life. It's a crown of honor. And you've done business yep. with honor. That's right. It's a crown. Yes. It's a crown that right. God wants to put on us, yes. on me, on Tiz, on you, yep. on your family, on our ministries, on our church. Yep. He wants to crown us because we have done something. Ancient Jewish wisdom said we have some, done a great thing yeah. for someone else. Amen. So when they look at a person and God's anointed that person as a prophet, yes. remember, in the last days, the Holy Spirit, the, the, the first fruit offering is two baskets. One is for the, the barns being filled. Right. The second basket is for your vats overflowing. Yep. One is for financial blessing. Right. The other one is for spiritual blessing, signs and wonders and miracles, yep. end time transfer of wealth. Yes. When, when someone was a prophet that God made them a prophet, they, he anointed them with the spiritual blessing yep. and he anointed them with financial blessing right. because they were doing something yes. as they served God yep. to do something great to change the world. Amen. How great, awesome. how, there's nothing greater. Yeah. There is nothing greater than you can do, right. that we can do together with our first right. fruit offering than save someone's life. Absolutely. God says, and you've heard us say it over and over again, when you save one life, yep. I see it as if you saved the whole yes. world. How can that be? Because that one person's yep. family, that one person's yep. job, that yep. one person's safety is the world to them. Yep. And when you change their world, yes. God says, I I will change yes. your world. Amen. It's a crown. Exactly. Wealth is not a bad thing. God's, right. God said yeah. wealth is good. Yep. And there's going to be an end time transfer of wealth. The barns will be filled. Amen. There's going to be signs and wonders and miracles. Yep. The vats will be overflowing. That's why you're watching today. Amen. You're going to change someone's world and God will yes. change yours. Amen. What an amazing thing. Amen. Shavuot and Pentecost really yes, is. The Pentecost First Fruits Offering is one of the most important offerings you can sow in the entire year. It's when God opens the windows of heaven to release three much needed blessings into your life, wisdom, anointing, and prosperity. In addition, you will literally be fulfilling Bible prophecy by helping Jews in countries like France, Ukraine, and Ethiopia escape the growing hatred and persecution caused by anti-Semitism. With your support, we can help them to Aliyah, or return to Israel, their ancient biblical homeland. With your Pentecost offering of any size today, we want to say thank you by sending you an amazing DVD CD teaching by Pastor Larry, The Baptism of the Holy Spirit. This sermon is captured live from a special service at our church here in Dallas and will help you experience a fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit in your life like never before. When you sell $100 or more, we also want you to have this beautiful Torah mezuzah. The Torah is one of the symbols of Pentecost, and when you mount the mezuzah on the doorpost of your home, it will be a powerful reminder of God's protection and promises over your family. 
When you support Project Aliyah with a gift of $375 or more, we want to add this unique replica of a 7th century artifact discovered in Jerusalem. It's an elegant temple menorah pendant that also comes in a velvet gift box with a chain and an information card detailing its historical origin. With your first fruits offering of $750, which provides airfare and initial immigration expenses for one person making Aliyah to Israel, we will add this stunning illuminated Torah. This is a spectacular presentation of the first five books of the Bible, and each page contains both a Hebrew and English translation side by side. It's also embellished with color engravings and decorative motifs. This exquisite volume of God's Word will be treasured for a lifetime. And now, a special message from Pastor Larry. If you're a first-time donor, we want to give you this book as our way of saying thank you. This is releasing family blessings on you, your family, your children. There's nothing more important than a family that's serving God together. So this is our way of saying thank you for helping us change the world. And we want to help change your world. May the family blessings of God be on you and your family. Please call us today at 800-978-8546 and take part in this special Pentecost offering. If you prefer to give online, simply go to our secure website at LarryHuck.tv and choose your level of offering there. Our helpful staff is standing by right now to help you. So please call 800-978-8546 or you can always mail your offering to our ministry address on the screen. We sincerely appreciate whatever amount you are able to sow today, large or small. You are fulfilling biblical prophecy by helping to carry our Jewish brothers and sisters back home to Israel. Don't let this Pentecost window of blessing pass you by. And don't miss the opportunity to stand with Israel and the Jewish people. It will release an outpouring of blessing on your life. Again, Thank you for your faithful and generous support. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, I wish Tiz and I could come and just lay hands on you because yes. this is, I, I feel such Amen. an excitement about this. Yeah. You know, we're at the end of the seven years and, and, and you know, we've talked about the numbers. Right. You know that, that Pentecost, Shavuot, falls on the new moon. Mm. On the new moon, there are three things that we pray for because it's the new beginning. Mm. We pray for peace in yeah. our homes and our families. We pray for um, a health in our homes and our families, and yeah. we pray for prosperity. Amen. Your first fruit is going to bring families that are fearful for their lives right now. Amen. And it's going to bring them peace. Yes. It's going to bring them health. They're going to be a yep. place that... The, the nation of Israel will take care of them. They're yes. going to be able to work a job and not be put out because they're Jews. Amen. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. That's and our right. prayer for you today, right now, yep. is on your family yes. and on your life and on your business. Absolutely. We pray for the peace of God, a peace yes. that passes yes. all understanding. We pray for divine yes. health. God covers you with the Thank blood you, of Jesus Amen. that you live Amen. and you receive that miracle yes. of health yes. and prosperity. Yes. Prosperity is a God thing. Amen. The gold is good. Mm -hmm. There's not. It's not that there's a lack yep. of money. It's just in the wrong That's hands. Right. And starting today, yep. as you change someone's life, yeah. he's doing an end time transfer of wealth. Get ready. Amen. Your job, your business, your bonuses, That's whatever right. it is, That's right. are about to be touched yep. by the miracle hand of Amen. God on Pentecost and Shavuot. God we love you. I'm Larry. You. I'm Tim. We'll see you tomorrow. You so God much. bless.